In St. Louis, they welcome George Allen, the new head coach of the Redskins, who has built winning teams for years with skinheaded veterans who rarely commit mistakes. Bob Holloway, the new coach of the Cardinals, came from Minnesota, where his defense ruled the black and blue division. Against Washington, the Cardinal defense made the Redskins pay dearly for every mistake. While the Big Red defense stuck its head in every collision fiercely, the conservative Cardinals offense fell flat on its face. The two touchdowns scored by their superstar tight end Jackie Smith, number 81, were the only bright moments for St. Louis. For most of the day, the Cardinals looked like they were trying to cope with a slick Frisbee instead of catching a football. Quarterback Jim Hart, number 17, spent most of his day groping for the ball rather than throwing it. Three times, the alert Redskin secondary picked off his errant tosses. St. Louis sputtered, stumbled, and fumbled. Redskin veterans like number 55 linebacker Chris Hanberger accepted each gift and delivered it to the end zone. On offense, Washington relied on the ground-eating strides of Larry Brown, the NFL's leading rusher in 1970. But Redskin glory rested in the sure hands of their tight end, Jerry Smith, number 87, whose AstroTurf acrobatics ensured the first Washington win. While Jerry barely missed an impossible touchdown, he came back to score one almost as incredible. While the splendor of his catch cannot be denied, the handshakes and hugs could well have gone to center Lynn Hawes. Hawes, number 56, picked up and polished off number 74, Fred Heron, and allowed quarterback Billy Kilmer that split second of fleeting freedom. The rest was all Jerry Smith, as Washington's poised and disciplined veterans dismantled the St. Louis Cardinals 24 to 17.